Do you ever wake up and just decide, I can't do it today? I think we all have those days. Those days where life is just a little bit too busy and you feel like you need a break. When you take a look around and realize life is just so overwhelming, what do you do on those days? Do you take a walk? Do you meditate? What do you do to snap yourself out of an unmotivated day? First, let me say that it's okay to have an unmotivated day. In fact, it's normal. A lot of people struggle with strategies to stay motivated. For me, I start projects. And I guess I have a lot of unmotivated days because I have a ton of projects. I have projects where I paint or draw. I have projects where I organize and straighten up. I have gardening projects, film projects, YouTube projects. I have art projects, design projects. Projects that I started 10 years ago that I refuse to get rid of because I might want them one day. I have so many projects. My projects have projects. When I take a step back and I look at everything that I've started, I realize that the reason why I never really finished these projects was because it was never perfect. I got distracted by something else that needed my attention or get discouraged before even starting. I think that a lot of people have this problem where there's just so much and you just don't know where to start or how to finish. They say that the easiest way to get motivated is just to start. So today I decided I wanted to start and finish something. I wanted to do something messy and unconventional. I didn't want to have to worry about the details or messing up or failing. I just wanted to start and finish something on the same day. I figured that if I were able to finish one project in an hour or so, no matter how small it is, that it would motivate me to move on to another project and then another and another, and even if it wasn't perfect. I wanted to start off my day by doing something creative, using my materials that I didn't care about on the coloring page that I wasn't super invested in, something simple. As I colored this page, I did not worry about coloring in the lines or even color distribution. In fact, I messed up a lot and it was quite freeing not to care. I focused on the task of completion instead of worrying if anyone would like it. While coloring, I didn't worry about all the other things that I needed to do and I didn't allow myself to get distracted with something else until I was finished. I did, however, have time to think about how I perceived myself as an individual with a disability. I don't act like I have a disability, that's for sure. And I've always hid behind this idea that I have to be perfect. Now, I've talked about this before on my channel, the fear of failure and developing higher expectations for myself. The fact of the matter is, no one expects me to be perfect. No one expects me to be great at my job. No one expects me to be good at anything. Let that sink in for a moment. No one expects me to be good at anything. I was never expected to learn how to walk or talk. I was never expected to learn how to feed myself or get dressed. My teachers never expected me to be able to participate in a traditional classroom setting. I wasn't expected to graduate or get married or have a career, and yet I woke up every day demanding that I do better than my expectations. Wake up, kick ass, repeat. I had to be perfect because without perfection, my disability was considered a free pass. Oh, don't worry about that. It's okay since you don't have arms. I didn't want a free pass. I wanted to be seen as a fully capable person who was capable of achieving anything. This is when I realized that I don't need to be perfect. Sure, I can strive to do better, to learn and grow, but perfection is not a requirement for success. I spent countless days stressing over perfection, being anxious over what everyone else thinks that I got burnt out and lost my motivation for doing what I loved. I no longer feel the need for perfection and higher expectations. Instead, I strive for completion and happiness. How do you stay motivated? How do you wake up, kick ass, and repeat? What tricks do you implement in your daily routine that keeps you going? Some people naturally have the will to get up and take on the day head on. Some people need a daily dose of caffeine to stay energized. Others struggle with daily activities and need a little bit more help. So where do you stand?
Now, I don't expect you to like, share, or subscribe to this video, but instead maybe leave a comment on what keeps you motivated in life and what keeps you going. If you've made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for all your continued support throughout the years. I know that the past couple of years hasn't been easy for anyone, and we could all use a mental break. If you'd like to help out the channel, feel free to leave a video request either in the comments or email me directly. I love hearing from you guys and all the creative video suggestions that you come up with. Okay, well, stay safe and have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video.